Namibia's current National Development Plan, NDP3, calls on for high promotion of aquaculture activities as both the Namibian and Indonesian governments foresaw its role of freshwater species to enhance food security, generate income and improve the livelihood of rural people in both countries. In view of the cordial and friendly relations between Namibia and Indonesia, aquaculture is identified as just another component of national food security as well as foreign exchange earnings. According to the two countries, this activity also reduces the pressure on exploitation of marine natural resources. The Ministry of Fisheries and Marine Resources says that Namibia has excellent potential and is now spearheading this development through decentralization of its functions to all 13 regions. As a ministry, we have set up a directorate uh, responsible for aquaculture and inland fisheries in 2003, which has embarked on aggressive promotion as well as the implementation of aquaculture initiatives throughout our country. To achieve these objectives as set out in our vision 2030 and to ensure aquaculture development in Namibia to be carried out in an orderly manner, the Directorate has put in place a policy legal framework and a five-year aquaculture strategic plan based on the UN FAO Code of Conduct from, from responsible fisheries as well as aquaculture. Since Indonesia is one of the largest fish producing and exporting countries in the world, they pledge to support Namibia in this venture as well as to show Namibians in the industry how to process raw fish to become value-added products. Both countries further deem this venture as a privilege and responsibility to strengthen their capabilities to do the job it has been commissioned to undertake. Through regulatory framework, both countries set out the intention to build a coordinated approach to aquaculture development and regulation. Central to this is the creation of institutional arrangements that promote aquaculture and coordinate the various agencies and other entities involved. Reporting for News on One, Blanche Goreses.